Okay. All right. Hello, hello, and welcome to Side Divine. Hopefully, the audio is okay. Welcome to Side Divine. Okay. Sounds all right. So I'm leaving this letter reading here for whoever needs to hear it. I do feel like this is something coming in. Um, message for who needs to hear it. Uh, so I'm going to pull a few letters real quick just to see the overall energy that you need to be aware of, whoever this is for. As I sat down, I thought it was just going to be letters, but okay. Starting to get the some other messages right now. So let's see what's going on with you. Okay, so what I'm getting is you're going to be dealing with some cruelty, it feels like. People who are provocative on an emotional level can be people circling um, in your circle, inner circle. Be mindful of people trying to get you to respond in an emotional way, but cruel. People trying to get you off your square. Coming soon. Uh-oh. For some of you, this is a masculine energy coming in. So this message could be to one of you goddesses. Or, or to one of you masculines who you can be emotional or you're feeling emotional at this time. I do feel like there's a bit of a, a emotional warning or like a early alarm <laughs> clock going off. Not alarm to be afraid of, but it feels like an emotion before the tidal wave. So here's an opportunity to protect your energy because the cruel shit coming in, I'm getting this, oh Lord. So the song I'm getting right now is Don't Worry, Be Happy. Be happy for what you hear. For some of you, this could be um, somebody commenting about your lifestyle, who you are as a person, how you how you move, how you do what you do, and they don't live your life. So how in the freak could they understand balance around your fucking existence? Oops. I think I'm cursing too soon. <laughs> Sorry about that. Feeling emotional, hold on. Wow. And this could be around how you um, deal with others, how you, again, how you live your life, whether it's parent or how you interact with other people. Somebody just really wants to, I okay, I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing a game controller, like the old classic, you know. And when I say old classic, I'm old. So somebody's probably like, we still have controls like that, stupid. So, <laughs> uh, but the, it feels like classic, classic control. Or it's, uh, what's that old saying? Misery loves company. 
Be mindful of people trying to take you to their dark place by trying to make you feel dark, sad, or emotional. What I'm also getting, this could be someone close enough to know how to push your buttons. So this can be family, let's say, wild example. Maybe you got a relative you grew up with, a uh, brother, sister, cousin, I don't fucking know. And they picked on you and they knew how to pick on you. So they knew over time what little things about you they could speak on and glitch you out is what I'm hearing. And this glitch could have to do with something they feel like they recently realized about you or something new in your life. And they just wanna, the new world you're in is what I heard. Um, and maybe they wanna speak on it, pass judgment on it. The thing about it is they want you to choose to hop into the hole they ass is in. Mm. I'm sorry if this is your message. Um, I'm sorry about that. Take a breath. And then you step back. Wow. So there's some energies that think you should be behaving a certain way because of what you're going through and they're impressing how they think you should be feeling, but they think you should be more emotional, more dark picture. Okay, I see someone standing on the edge of a building like you should be, you should be ready. Hi, Charlie, how are you, Cubs? I'm okay, how are you doing? Well, now, I mean, I'm kind of emotional right now, but as I'm doing this reading, whoever this is for, you, this is your data and you, you get the wave and you know the old cousin with the attitude or the person who's close enough to know all your day-to-day -day walk in the room, like you know it's coming. So you can like withhold your energy, okay? You can protect it. You can alter, <laughs> you can alter it. And you can get, make sure that whoever this is coming through with this, I'm gonna poke at you and bully a little bit, even though like it's like somebody like thinks you're going through something bad or a, a life change that's down and they wanna just speak on it and be sour. I don't get it, I don't get this. But it does feel like, like siblings who fight with each other and you're kind of cruel but then you get older and that doesn't, that didn't change or something, something along that line. Like somebody knows they can push you down a flight of stairs and you ain't going to say nothing. Or at least maybe it was like that at some point. Maybe it was thought that you carried that type of energy. So this push down the flight of stairs is about your lifestyle. You should be more emotional according to what the fuck they think. And the truth is, it's it's an energy that they shit ain't fucking where they really want it in life. So maybe they're trying to get another little taste of what they could have been through you. I know there's a song to go with that, but I don't hear it right now. Sorry. Hello, loyal to Lauren. How are you, goddess? Okay. Okay, so you got these. Ooh, that was an ugly picture. I saw like maggots. I hope that's not the case, but maybe it is that disgusting. Uh, and oh my, okay. An ugly picture. Sorry if that grossed you guys out. 
Apologies, that was disgusting. Um, ooh, let's clean that thought for a minute. Ocean images, please. <laughs> Join me in visualizing the ocean. Um, let's get back. I'm gonna full letters now. I hate to say this, but I'm just telling you what's coming through. Whoever this is for, you're being put into a position of isolation. Okay, it's 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 so you can study. It's keeping people out of your space so you can study. I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry. I'm gonna pull some letters though. Um, so this is a condition or a, a space that has been. Maybe you're just more aware of it. Maybe it has a deeper feeling to it, but this shit is about wellness, okay? And sometimes the magnet has to reverse, okay? And so when the magnet has to reverse, that's the polarity, right? It's not magnetics where everybody's drawn to you. It's the polarity. As I've talked about this before, I'm not going to do solar system data, but let's just say magnets. We understand that. Sometimes when you turn them one way, they they go into each other. I wish I had two magnets. <laughs> but I don't have two magnets. Okay. And then they flip, right? And you flip them and things go away. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. So this time for the self is truly for the self, right? So it's a great time to be uh, all about you because you're fucking amazing, right? And unfortunately, the world is changing now I take that back. Okay, the world was always changing. And people always didn't know their value, I think. And this isn't a time for you to recognize the architect of the self. Get organized. I'm also hearing uh, get good at entertaining yourself. Like, that's cool. Um... Oh, I'm sorry. Hello, RD. I'm just flipping over to the comments because I'm, I suck. Sorry about that. Hi, Lotus Rose. How are you? Hello, everybody. Okay. Getting into the letters. At the bottom of the deck, though, I do want to say, like, it's an opportunity to remember what you forgot for five minutes. Who are you? Nobody, as long as you give a fuck what other people think. It's not what you're here for. Really, it's not. Okay. Uh, let's get a significator. Ew. One more. Just for the record here. This time is about communication. Um, with communication, um, frequency of the self that gives you access uh -huh, to your higher self. I'm not really going to call this a test, though. Okay, I don't want to call it a test, but it's a time where you are just getting in touch with your higher self. I don't even want to say higher data. It's higher self. It's getting into the place um, where you are comfortable with your gifts. You're comfortable with your power, your... I don't need a motherfucker. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> and not being mad about it, not being bothered by it, not needing to vibrate that out either. I'm, I get that too. Remember the orbit. So what's coming out of your fucking mouth is your fucking orbit, man. Knock it off is what I'm hearing. Um, I feel very, uh, I felt a bit of anxiety just there. So don't be making mountains out of molehills at this time. Don't be putting extra on it, right? Rubbing it all over your chest like mayonnaise. Don't do that. Uh, this feels like taking that energy and doing something else with it. If you want some ideas, I'll share some data with you. Hey, I've been messing around with AI where you could just type in stuff and this is horrible. Don't 
ultimately it's taking over all artistry but try it anyway because it won't be forever try it because it's interesting if you just want something to do to switch off those emotions for a minute um and they make apps you can put on your phone and you can just make art instead of like reflecting other people's energy or reflecting other people's mirrored energy back to them. I don't know what's coming, but it's annoying. <laughs> Guys, goddesses, so just chin up, shoulders, you know, shoulders tight. <laughs> and no fist. No fist. Not at all. Let's get into the letters and see. Ooh, that came kind of fast. <sighs> yeah, motherfuckers trying to get in your head. So watch that bullshit. Okay, let's see what we get here. So I see that first. Gotta put some out. <laughs> Ooh, and it's a blankety blank. There's so there is somebody who can flip switches on you and your energy. And you know, at this time, that's a hell to the no, to the no, no, no. And this doesn't feel like happy, fun, smiley face energy. It just feels like maybe not noticing right away that the person trying to alter your energy is a negative motherfucker to begin with. Like that's just, that's the quicksand they're in. Um, it does feel like residual orbital energy. So maybe you were going through something emotional or you had some mean motherfuckers or some emotional people around you in your orbit, or you were, I'm not pointing fingers. You might've put that out there into the universe. So it is residual and the orbit comes back around or the comet or the asteroid, whichever flying, speeding space rock feels better to you. You may also miss, um, well, I guess I kind of said that, right? You missed, you may, whoever's coming in, you miss mental illness. Um, I'm not saying you're mental, Ill, mentally ill, but you may be missing the mental illness and whoever spends their life provoking, being provocative, being in a place of anger and vitriol. What? Okay. Um, Okay, I don't see that word here. What I heard, where's mine? I gotta pull out my sticky notes for all of this. Uh oh. Oh no. Hold on. My markers. Shit. Okay, so my markers that are normally, I usually have one or two of my favorite markers up here. It's not up here right now. This is interesting. All that's here is a gold marker in my drawer. I'm just, take that for what you will. Hey, Shirley, how you doing, goddess? Okay, so maybe you got somebody who's bothered by your freedom or your ability to be who the fuck you are. Like, uh, you couldn't fix that anyway. And so that's crazy. <laughs> you can't fix the fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. 
Now, you know I normally don't, y'all know I normally don't like bad spelling with my messages, and I normally don't take that, so I do believe there's other stuff here. You are out. Um, I do get a 12 here, so that is death. I think, is that death? I think. No, that's the hanged man. Someone stalled. Mm. They may recognize the stall in their life because of, because of you. Guides, goddesses. Hmm. Somebody may have a problem. Okay, listen, it's mental. I don't give a fuck. We don't need to go further, do we? So you're dealing with somebody who has the type of energy that can walk in a room and alter energy. I would say energetic vampire, but it's more like the bite that turns you into a zombie. Something about your freedom. Something about your freedom to be whatever you, you want to be, do what you want to do. That's not complete, but... Be aware of somebody trying to get you in some bullshit. And it feels like the type of bullshit, like, just alter your day, change your position, try to change your mind. Be mindful of somebody trying to suggest how you, how you live, where you live. How does that benefit them? How does that? Oh, okay. Well, that's my answer because they can control you. <laughs> I guess I should have. Okay. So they would want that because they can control you. Okay. Why do they want to control you? To stall you out. Decide what you do. Misery loves company, right? And everybody loves an upside down fucking tornado. So why wouldn't you want to be one and join? <laughs> oh my God. Somebody wants you further away from your goals. <sighs> if you're a reader or anything like that, or you're intuitive or something like that, why would other people want you to express your gift? That's why it's not worth discussing. Just do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just do it and enjoy it. And it doesn't need to be fucking discussed. It's not up for negotiation. It's a work that was in progress before they ever existed. Before you existed in the flesh. That's what it was. That's what it is. Just do it. Um, I don't know why I needed to go there.
Jeez. When I see this, I see auxiliary. Um, auxiliary can be like um, an extra, like most cars have an auxiliary input uh, where it's not your radio, it's not your CD, it's not your tape player. <laughs> I'm old. No cars have tape players. I know that. So don't laugh. Uh, but it's another port, another entrance, another way um, to uh, get the music or get the sound. Another input, another input. Yo, Kidoki, I'll say, I'm going to say that's the message. I know it's still Ebonic spelling over here. But um, I think that's it. And worst case, there. somebody wants to alter the way you sound, alter, and they're doing it by bringing their tornado, tornadic, <laughs> their tor their tornadic winds of nothingness. Because they feel bad, so why the fuck shouldn't you? Ew. Okay, so I guess it is a test. Okay, so what's the test about? Twisting your words with projection. That would be an upside down tornado for shizzle, RB. So what's a good energy to be in to push back at this one hard? How do you push back on an upside down tornado? <laughs> Serving yourself, self-dependent. Uh, it is, let's see, let's move this over. That is lone wolf energy by your own design. Together we get time. And making a choice to hold things back, hold back, whether that's your energy or your fists, the words. Believe it or not, it is building the ego. And it's building the ego to control you and not be controlled by somebody. I guess that general word that people like to use here is narcissism, right? Where somebody is doesn't want you to be happy, so they start, you know, s sowing the seeds of equal unhappiness so that they ain't gotta be in that boat of shit by themselves. Why not? That's a jumping, this is a jumper. So this is somebody who can come in and alter direction. Like you ever be feeling just fine, a motherfucker walk into the room, they say some shit, they walk out the room and everything is just done. <laughs> you feel drained. You feel less of yourself, which would be cool if you was, you know, going for that effect, but you're not. And so you fail the test because you feel horrible. And that person walking out of the room feels great because they just zapped you. So if necessary, don't talk to them. If necessary, if you can't, you know, if you're feeling that energy and you can sense it coming and you need to not communicate, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Because it does feel like it's it's a bit of, mm, what's the way to say it? Trusting that you don't, oh, hold on. 
Trusting that you don't owe anybody an explanation. Trusting that you don't have to play the game. Trusting that there is a game at play, right? It's feeling it like this motherfucker's on some bullshit. You know what is weird? Because every time you walk into a room where I'm at and you open your fucking mouth, it's a problem. You have nothing good to say. Or, you know what I'm just saying? Somebody who, you know what I'm saying? And it's a test most people fail with this type of energy. That's what they do in this lifetime. They're good at it. It's like you know FedEx is going to deliver what you paid for, right? They're going to they're gonna deliver. Most of us have a general comfort with you being able to count on FedEx. Now, UPS is sketch. I, <laughs> UPS, you're just like, wow, thanks, UPS. <laughs> I'm glad you showed up. Like, high five, man. You want to gift that dude. Because you know he's working against some odds. But FedEx, we have a natural expectation. So with that person, they're like FedEx of fucking up people's day. <laughs> they're like the FedEx. Take it like that. You know what I'm saying? So don't be like, oh, it's personal. It's not. They're FedEx. They deliver. <laughs> They deliver. That's what they do. So if you're expecting your delivery when you sense the truck pulling up right and you hear the, the tires and they're squeaking <laughs> and you know the delivery is coming, you're much more aware. And you don't need to be upset with them for dropping a box, banging at the door, or ringing the doorbell and running. You got shit to do. <laughs> And whether they can deliver that package of bad feelings and bad vibrations to your house or the next, or you're literally your next door neighbor, it doesn't really matter. They'll take it. <laughs> FedEx isn't going to ask you questions, it's a business. So it's, it's almost like dealing with somebody who's pre programmed. Okay, Taurus energy here. And it's not really like somebody being bullheaded. That's just, they're bullheaded by nature. And blocked feelings. Yet chatty at the same time. We want to talk, but don't feel nothing. Responsible about themselves, but not responsible for how they talk to others or their lack of sympathy towards others. They're, they're stuck in their own illusion. And so you can join them, right? Totally. Or you can withhold your gooey emotions because you're talking to a whole fucking robot. <laughs> you're like dealing with a robot. So why? what are you doing? Catch yourself. <laughs> right. So instead of like blowing up at it, you like, check it. I mean, some people would get mad at the washing machine for not doing, you know, for maybe like ripping up a sweater. But at the same time, because the machine was just doing what the machine is supposed to do. So you step back, you take a breath and you go, okay, that was fucked up. Damn you, washing machine. And then you... Fix the sweater or throw it out and go on with your day. and But you don't beat up the machine. You don't take your anger out on the next person you see because of what the washing machine did to your nice little sweater. You knew what the washing machine was. <laughs> we can also run that comparison to snakes and gardens if that feels better. But this is an opportunity to shut the freak up because it's weird to argue with robots. It's weird to have a robot wheel itself into your day and then like cut up with you and then you inflict that shit elsewhere or you take it and spread it all over your day or other people. That's even worse. Okay, 
So it's a short win, but it's one that, I don't know, just feels like it's bullshit that could be skipped over. As long as you see the shit coming and you take a breath and go, ah, you ain't fucking with me, bitch. There's a whole robot. Where your batteries at? I think you need to get outside and get some of that solar action. Also get the energy of dealing with somebody who maybe talks over you or would. They wasn't listening in the first place. And then you have to recognize, oh my God. And then at that point, you got to recognize the live action role player. They were never really real. Oh boy. Okay, and now a song comes in. You're gonna have to listen to this one. You might like it. It's uh, Nine Inch Nails, the group. The song is called Only. It's not a group, it's a musician. It's one person, but he, all, lots of instruments. Anyways, the song is called Only. I just make you up to hurt myself. I just make you up to hurt myself. Hold on. I'm getting the sensation that I need to get the words now. So give my slow ass a second. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, are you guys ready? Hopefully you're listening. This is, again, Nine Inch Nails, if you like rock music or what would you call this music? Electronic. Uh, it's, But it's got a great beat, I think. Um, it's maybe something to listen to, but hear the lyrics nonetheless. I'm becoming, I'm becoming less defined as days go by, fading away. Well, you might say I'm losing focus kind of drifting into the abstract in terms of how I see myself. Sometimes I think I can see right through myself. Less concerned about fitting into the world, your world that is, because it doesn't really matter anymore. No, it doesn't really matter anymore. None of this really matters anymore. Yes, I'm alone, but then again, I always was. As far back as I can tell, I think maybe it's because you were never really real to begin with. I just made you up to hurt myself. And it worked. Yes, it did. There is no you. There is only me. There is no fucking you. There is only me. Only. Well, the tiniest little dot caught my eye and it turned out to be a scab. And I had this funny feeling like I just knew it was something bad. I just couldn't leave it alone. Picking at that scab, it was just a doorway trying to seal itself shut. But I climbed through. Now I'm somewhere I'm not supposed to be and I can see things I never really should have seen. And now I know why. Now I know why things aren't as pretty on the inside. There is no you. There is only me. Only. All righty then. That was a weird moment. And while I got six in my hand, 
Hey, Six, do you have a message for the collective to go with this data? Oh, shit. <laughs> so, okay. Be aware. Anything else? We've been tricked. We've been backstabbed. And we've been quite possibly bamboozled. Ooh. Anything else? Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? Oh, God. See? So don't you go, whoever this is for, guides, guide says, do not go there. There it is. Anything else? <laughs> that was, I don't like the screaming. That freaks me out. Okay. Anything else? Last one, six, please. Something nice. Water. Here comes that bullshit 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 water. Watch him roll it. Watch him go. 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 All right. All right, guys. It's Guida says. I feel like I was giving you overall ninja data preparation because whoever this is that they're programmed that way, it is like battle. Battle of the, I could put my foot in your ass, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> but I'm not fucking going to, okay? Because man, I'm higher, I'm higher. Um, I'm not gonna just, I don't have to. Why? Mm. Jesus. Oh, Shirley. <laughs> okay. I got to tell you, this is messed up. I see a picture of someone. There's probably you. But the image I see is someone walking a horse into their house. <laughs> like what you like you're holding the reins and you're walking this big majestic animal indoors. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. What do they want in your connection? Ooh. Oh boy, that's a te oh well. Listen, it's a test with a pop quiz, not the kind of pop though that has to do with paper and pencil. It's boom chicka wow wow. <laughs> this might be your data. This person may be all talk. Might be your data, dear. That might be yours. And there's a blank. So it's really up to you to see through the bullshit. Maybe it's your person who loves their freedom. And so be careful. I keep I hear keep hearing one specific lyric of that nine inch nail song. I just make you up to hurt myself. I just make you up to hurt myself. And it works. 
Yes, it did. Maybe you should be the same type of song. Honey. <laughs> I don't like your person, but that's not for me to speak on. So your person might be on some type of tour. We all know what a tour is, right? You don't stay in one spot. You move around the cabin. Your person, like, they're not, no, just no, okay? Uh, practice your conversational skills and getting other people to talk about themselves with this person. But do not attach in any way. This is, I uh, hate to say it, and this is going to be fucked up, but I can say shit like this. This person is a learning tool. You, and not, not a tool that goes in your purse. Scorpio, death. This is learning. Cancer energy. Learning and then letting the fuck go. Where This is one of those things where you control, like, you know, I see a cabinet opening and closing. So maybe it's you that needs to decide when the cabinet closes. Not when the junk food inside decides to close the cabinet. You decide. And don't be sitting around on it because it, it's it's energy that goes nowhere. Because whoever this motherfucker is, they're fucked up and holding back true intention and energy. And that's where they're stuck at. And so they make people that way afterward. This person is a tool for you to learn or... Um, practice, I'll just say practice. I won't say improve, but maybe the word is improve. Communication skills and understanding. How to listen with your ears and not your little sticky ass feelings. Sorry. <laughs> Whoever this person is, if you got involved with them, they would make, they, they sow the seeds of resentment. And then when they're done with you, you become somebody else's fucking issue. Boo. Boo. <laughs> He's a Leo. I don't do Zodiac that big. But this person is to teach you about your, remind you. Of, oh, I don't, okay. This person is to remind you of self. And that you can be without having, you know, we, you can be in communication without putting anything extra in there. Or being impulsive. It's listening to the ego. And how motherfuckers will play games. And it's lab coat data. But it's not really, well, is that the lab? Okay, it's lab, but it's watching how the specimens grow inside the Petri dish. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, put, the, you put the two things there and then you watch what they do. But you're outside the Petri dish and you're just watching what they're doing without getting yourself ruined. Whoever this person is, they the, the intention may actually be in how they communicate and deal with you now. But maybe you don't see it like that. Because you're busy questioning, asking questions based on what you're hoping for, my dear. Uh, so he's a user? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying, well, oh my goodness. What I just heard was they can't use it unless you're giving it. That was a little bit sharp. Sorry about that. Just sharing what came through. Um, but this is you're dealing with somebody who just doesn't, they're programmed that way. They're programmed a certain way to communicate a certain way, whether it's effective or not. Nobody sticks around to talk about it or nobody's told them that. <laughs> nobody's helped them realize why maybe they have error in connections. Um, and maybe they've just gotten used to it and they've worked around it and dealt with it. Uh, it's like, um, okay, oh my God, I'm gonna say something really dark. <laughs> I'm not sure where this is coming from because the coffee tonight isn't that good. 
Okay. I'm gonna say something fucked up, right? Okay. So if you if you got sensitive ears, cover them. I'll wave you back in. Okay. All right. So we've all we're probably all not virgins here, right? You might have all had more than one partner. It's possible. Anything could happen. But at some point, you know, you might have encountered someone who wasn't good in bed or they didn't have proper equipment. It was not visually appealing, okay? Or it wasn't visible because it was, you know where I'm going, okay? I'm trying to be nice here. <laughs> now, you encountered that person and then when things were over, there's a 99.9% .9 chance you didn't tell that person that they fucking sucked in bed. You didn't say shit. You just bounced. <laughs> and when it was over, it was over. Maybe you guys said hi to each other on holidays, but you didn't tell your person from the past that, oh, by the way, your sex was trash. <laughs> your, your equipment is trash. God doesn't love you because he gave you that. What is that? I know that this is how I know I'm a good person because I never told you that your sex was trash. It was horrible. But that's the kind of person I am on the inside that I could be like with you and then be putting up with less than what I could have got at the grocery store. Like that's love on my part. So like we cool? Like <laughs> 99.999% chance you didn't do the right thing. Technically speaking, I'm going to put some guilt on every one of y'all that just laughed. And if you laughed because you know you did it, I'm going to put some guilt on you tonight. You contributed to that person continuing to go on into the world as a trash lover. You ain't say nothing. Fellas, I know y'all be up in here. How many of y'all got some head? And it wasn't good, ladies. How many of us had to shift it and move it around? Because that motherfucker wasn't listening. Because he thought from the last person, he must know what he's doing. And you didn't say nothing. It's literally like walking through a park and not picking up the trash. You contributed to the litter. You really did. Okay. Hang your head in shame. Everybody take a breath. I contributed too now. I'm not just yelling at you. We all contributed. So for a minute, you fucked up, right? That's not nice. Okay. It was not the right thing to do. And you did it with intention. Okay. So when this person comes in, when the robot shows up, you take that L. You take a breath, okay? Don't mean you got to give them your energy. You go, you know what? Somewhere along the lines, somebody made that. Somebody programmed that, and I'm dealing with it. I'm like, okay. So you was you was on some bullshit long before. All right, you programmed that way. Okay. So Shirley, darling, <laughs> it's practice. It's communication practice. Recognizing the bullshit, not being, not playing ball with it. It's a ball that doesn't really matter. You're going to throw it back across the field in a minute. So just it's learning and it's learning to not attach, not sitting around wondering because you're calling that into your energy. Because when that motherfucker's done and they go away, you're going to be like, I don't want no motherfucker to act like that. I don't want no motherfucker that got no Mary issues coming out of it because he damaged for what she did to him because she didn't tell him he was trash in bed. She ain't do nothing. She just financially broke him. So, <laughs> so he's got damage and fear. And he ain't even told nobody about that. So he's not even close to working that out. That's pre-programming. You, you're not here to fix that. You're not here to fix that, but you are, you do need to recognize it so that you don't get attached and you don't walk around with a list of what you don't want. You're working on a list of what you do want. Cause when you work on the list of what you don't want, you call in that. You tell the universe, I, I'm gonna need some tickets to that audio love tour. 
What's that top group in it? Ruin X? Is that the name of the group? Oh, they be playing speed metal, huh? That shit is loud. <laughs> how much How much are the tickets? Uh, a whole year or two or three or ten of my life. Possibly some kids and some connected bank accounts and ruin. How much, how much time you want? How many tickets you want? <laughs> you gonna bring some friends? How about your family? You wanna bring some kids into this? How about some of those sweet horses? I think the universe really needs you to better your list, my dear. Ego or divinity? I do not believe those things are mutual, but I do think you do have to be aware of them so that you, you know, are, where? oh yeah, we'll have to start over here, okay. You do need to be aware of that, my dear. You're calling in heavy, heavy ego stuff when you're really supposed to be moving towards your higher self. And sometimes moving towards a higher self means being with yourself because you're swapping frequency and other motherfuckers are going to have trouble matching that. You're going into higher vibrations. And so you've got to be careful what you reflect in because now you're involving other energies and bringing in the trash or bringing in the sofa from the curb takes away your energy from the higher stuff you're supposed to be doing. And divinity is really a solo platform um, or a solo self thing, right? And then you bring in others. Once you are really secure with keeping your space clear, and recognizing couches that need to be on a fucking curb. <laughs> you gotta recognize which sofas are really, really like true sofas or sectionals or sleepers. <laughs> Is your person a sectional? They might be a sectional it, or a pullout sofa. It might just be a pullout. <laughs> it might just be one of them pullouts. And we all know those don't last forever. And they're painful to sleep with, aren't they? <laughs> they belong at the dump. Well, sometimes not. Well, now let's not sit. Listen, every now and again, we've all been to Ikea. Ikea do be having some nice furniture sometimes. So sometimes, yeah, you might have to sit on one of the nice couches. I'm not going to say couches are all bad. That's not the case. But if you sit on the couch forever, it's going to be a real big loss of productivity. You're going to miss some stuff. <laughs> You're going to miss out on some stuff. So you got to move your pretty booty off the couch. Don't mean you can't sit, but that's just temporary. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on here. And I agree with you, Lotus, on that. We should tell people that they are trash in bed. You, should, you shouldn't say it that way. Don't say it that way because that's, that's the kind of stuff motherfuckers will never get up off the ground again. But don't say that. But we should learn how to communicate that data because somebody's next in line to deal with that is what I'm saying. So we contribute, you know. It, one piece of paper on the ground is one piece of paper, but over time, <laughs> it becomes huge. I'm going to stop right now, okay? Because that's not light data, but <laughs> we should be helping each other. Fellas, you guys too, nah. I'm not talking just about the women. If women don't know what they're doing, y'all just contribute to the mess by not saying nothing. I'm just glad she put her mouth on it. Yeah, but it was trash. So what did you really? Come on. <laughs> ah, that's like I'm saying. I'm glad I got a car. There's no engine. But I 
Sure do have this body. Are you nuts? <laughs> we should do better for each other. Is what I'm saying. Now let's get off that. <laughs> so let's get off of that topic. <laughs> let's get off of it. And somebody go get the warm towel. All right. Um, I don't remember who was next to ask a question, so I'm just gonna go to the bottom because I don't want to start reading and getting confused. Uh Lotus Rose. He's acting weird. In the guy that has. Uh, let's. What's up with him? What does he want? Are you? Are you? Are you also? Buying tickets to this audio love tour. <laughs> okay. Ooh. What did this person want? Earthine. I hear Guy. Remember the band Guy? You can have a piece of my love. Girl, it's true. It's waiting for you. Clarify. Person's coming out of some type of. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this one here. Intention. They're not sure yet. They want to know where it's going with you or where it could go. I feel like whoever you're asking about might have had an ex in their past who was. The only word that's coming through is volatile. Or somebody is violent. Volatile or destructive. So they want to know what direction you go in. Very mental, overthinking, expecting things to not work out, almost. So there's possibility they move in a space of expected failure or expect expecting to be, expecting things to not work or something to be wrong, expecting ruin. Because maybe that's what they dealt with before. They got some unresolved shit going on. And so they want to know if dealing with you, or you should be wondering if that's a reckless recklessness. Ooh. Uh, hold on. Six is catching my attention. Six, do you have a message for Lotus, Rose? My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined okay six messages uh another message for lotus robes about this person she's asking about yeah it's rewind time Ooh, clarify that is it possible to learn this power what clarify Out of that, I see a firework that didn't go off. Like it, it went up, <laughs> but when it came down, there was no pretty little fiery, whatever those things are. <laughs> there was no fireworks. Mm -hmm. um, anything else Lotus Rose needs to know about the person she's asking about? I hear Beyonce. What? I hear Beyonce. The song is Partition. But I only hear her saying that word. 
So partition in a car separates the driver from the passengers. So who's driving the car and who's the passenger or who's being chauffeured around, driven, driven around? What else does Lotus need to know about the person she's asking about? Is that like a personal attack or something? Very emotional and sensitive. So if you did tell them that he was trash in bed, that would be the Ikea that would probably take it, the, take it worse. <laughs> what else? <laughs> okay, last one. I expect nothing, and I'm still let down. Ooh. Okie dokie. Um, I'm not saying never talk to them again. I'm saying take the Pepsi challenge and listen to the words. It's Petri dish, something like that. <laughs> and don't say you're not a good picker. That's not it. It's you letting your empathy pick. It's you letting your empathy drive. What's the car that's got a partition in it? It's like, is that a Rolls Royce or something like that? You are the Rolls Royce, but you're letting your sweet empathic side decide what you get involved with. And so that's being willing to look past a lot of stuff because you have a heart instead of letting the brain pick like, wait a minute. This person's an idiot. Let me think this through. You're open and you have a heart and you have feelings. And what you would like to have from someone else, you're giving that before you have verified the land, the layout of the land. So it's your empathy driving the car, right? Deciding where you go. And then somebody comes up and if they can match that, then they take over the driver's seat. And now you're like wondering, where is this going? Where are we going? And they just roll up the partition. I tell you, shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, you are not a Pinto. You are a Rolls Royce. That's the problem right there. You are a Rolls Royce as of tonight. Right now, you always been. You forgot. It's just a question of who the fuck is driving. Charlie, uh, okay, Lotus, I'm gonna come back around to you. We started on yours. <laughs> I don't wanna run your questions back to back to back because at the end of this, it's gonna be about what you do, not what they do. Charlie, new person. card up here. Charlie, totally random. Absolutely random. Give me two numbers that catch your attention while you're thinking about your person. You're very welcome, goddess. Let's see what six has for you. What the fuck you doing here? Ooh. Identify yourself. Who the fuck are you? Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, what else, six? Oops. Yeah, and your numbers. Um, I get karma. Be careful. What else? I get blamed for absolutely everything. I don't remember the things the way that they remember them. I have huge issues. 
Last one. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll see. Okay, I'm not going to speak on that, all right, six? You know what? Let me get you another one because, no, we shouldn't be endorsing that. Six, can you give... Can you give Charlie a message, please? I swallowed the wrong way. Nobody live. <coughs> <coughs> oh my God. Sorry. Oh, RD, there was no hit. You don't smoke on lives. I really did. I started to laugh, but then I swallowed incorrectly. You ever swallow and it goes the wrong way? Oh my God. That was heavy. Huh. Yeah. Thank you. I'm okay. I'm out of practice. Me of all people should never have a problem swallowing. Everyone laugh. Even the dog is over here checking on me. You, ooh. <laughs> Thanks, Bear. Nice. Are you okay? Go get some water. You're over here choking too. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you okay? Or did I freak you out? I'm sorry. You were sleeping and I woke you up. I'm sorry. Come. Come here. Okay, well then go lay down. Hold on a second, guys. <laughs> Okay, I think I scared the crap out of my dog. <laughs> Sorry. He was totally asleep and I started choking. Bear, get some water. Oof. Bear said you were wearing this together. No, Bear weighs about 10 pounds, 15 pounds. Oh, you have a Roddy. I love Roddy's. Oh, Ooh, I don't know what he's doing now. Hold on, guys.
Okay. I hope he's okay too, but I know I probably scared the shit out of him. He's still over there going at it. If he keeps going. Are you okay, Bear? Choking is contagious. <laughs> I hope that's not the case. But I know he was totally asleep. And I probably scared him. Little dogs are nervous little dogs. You all right? Please relax. Thank you. Okay. And yo, Artie, thank you for taking taking a hit from me. Send that shit my way. Is that what we choking on? Shit. <laughs> Diani. Okay, my dear. Hello. So, okay, yes or no question. Blonde stuff. <laughs> uh, what does that mean, Artie? But Diani, that looks like a yes. There may be one more person that needs to say yes, or one more person that has something to do with this. Maybe waiting on one person, or waiting on a check, money, something like that. So, is there okay? Hold on. Is there anything else you need to be aware of? Anything else, Deanna needs to go away. New directions. Um, if you're talking about getting into a situation with a group of people or something like that, make make sure you know everybody's background. I don't know what you're... If you're doing this with somebody, it feels like somebody hasn't... Something about somebody's past that comes up or it can become a problem later. If there's, if you're talking about multiple people, somebody's not over, there's something about the past that comes back. So maybe somebody, or some, maybe, okay. So if you're talking about three people living together, somebody isn't being completely forthcoming about their past and it will take over the situation. Like maybe somebody got a crazy ex who likes to stalk them and then they find out where you live. Or, um, just make sure you know everybody. Uh, 
Um, I think that was more along the lines of if you are talking about cohabitating, living with other people. As far as you're talking about uh, a house being settled and can you find housing? Yes, the answer is the answer is very much so yes. What I don't like is what it feels like unspoken issues around a masculine energy. Somebody, so it's like a situation that when it's all done, it's like, I didn't think this would be a problem. What do you mean you didn't think it'd be a problem? Why you didn't say your ex likes to hide in the bushes type shit, like, Um, it, it does feel like, are you really paying attention? Be prepared for having to live with other people if you're going to do that. Um, somebody's not as clean as you. Somebody's not as responsible as you. Somebody likes dick more than they like responsibility. Just be prepared for other. And it doesn't feel like just issues with roommate or anything like that. It does feel like out, like some, so you got roommates. One of those people is doing something that creates discomfort for everybody else. I'm not going to go there. Um, can it be possible? Anything is possible. <laughs> Anything is possible. Would you enjoy it, though? If Diani... If, let's let's see a timeline. If Diani were to move in, if Diani moves in with Valerie, Polly, and SW, if you were to move in, would you be happy with the arrangement in six months from today? So this is a bit of a test, my dear. Yes and no, you would be happy with it. Some elements might work, but there's limitations elsewhere. Um, and it could be limitations on money for rent during rent time. Somebody falls short and it creates hazard and issue blockages for others. Somebody's not mature enough or together enough for the multiplicity of a group. Ooh. So there's going to definitely be, it's, it's learning, but it's got limitation. It's got, it's watching people and then having to be very limited on how you deal with them because y'all all live together. It's having to watch some shit and keep your mouth shut to some degree. And then when it's all said and done, you will learn some stuff, right? Um, you will definitely learn about the higher self. And you'll get to see other parts of self in others. It's going to be a big lesson thing if you do it. What I keep hearing, though, is somebody not having their part of, I, I hear, like, financial limitation. Yeah. 
or financial problems because of what somebody chose to do. So let's say everybody knows they got to pay rent on the 31st. But on the 20th, somebody keeps going out to the club and they do it every month, knowing that the bills are due. And they and so they make you guys pay rent at the last minute every single month. Not that you're late, but it's last minute and it's stressful because they never want to talk about it until the third or the fourth. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's already in panic mode. Like, what are you going to put in on it? And it's a practice of being your higher self, understanding that everybody don't move the same. And when you put that energy in one room or when you put that energy in one house, it's going to get chaotic. It's going to get, there's going to be resentment because everybody's not speaking up. Remember, I just talked about uh, not telling your ex or your current lover that they suck in bed. <laughs> and then the next person deals with that and they don't say anything. And it, it, that, that's kind of a roommate situation. The person that's sleeping in the room next to you could be fucking your life up. But you now you have to decide, do you want a disruptive household or do you shut up and take the L so you can keep the peace? What's more important? So never mind them. Are you ready for it? Because it's not a situation where people are going to tell you, oh, I'll never pay rate, rent late. I'll never, ever uh, eat your applesauce out of the refrigerator. And I never do stuff like that. And I'll never have a guy sleeping over for three days in a fucking row. Like he pay rent up in this bitch. <laughs> Standing in the refrigerator, eating. You know, it's, it's can you deal with it? Because no matter what people say, it life is life. And a roommate situation, you know, maybe it's fun for a little while. But when it's not fun, can you handle it? And if you can handle it, then great. Maybe there's something to be learned for the others by you leading by example. Because divinity is here, but it's in reverse. So you could be aware of your divinity, but you could be, you know, getting ready to team up with two people who ain't never even thought of no shit like that. Really? Maybe they know the word, but they ain't about it. Or they haven't really reached where, you know, that place where you are. Soon. Maybe you have something to do with that influence. But there's this, it's a, it's a learning by fucking up experience. It's a learning by, I feel limited to say the word example, but it's an example, it, it is, but it, mm. <laughs> it's like learning by going through some shit. And how are you supposed to get wisdom if you don't get experience, right? And sometimes you do need to have not, I don't know how old you are exactly, my dear, but you, I, I don't think roommates is a bad thing because it really does make you love your own space. So when you can move into your own space, you will be rolling around on the floor, making snow angels in the carpet. <laughs> you will be spreading your wings out on the carpet, not answering the phone. <laughs> taking off your shoes anywhere you want. I mean, like, it's a thing, man. It's a thing. I've had roommates. I now live alone, okay? <laughs> and I don't think I, I, I would not do a group of women in one spot. So that's, I, but I do think as a woman, you should know what you are like as a woman magnified. So, because we women be forgetting that we are a handful sometimes. Sometimes we forget. And so maybe you should know. And sometimes it works out perfectly. I've never heard of that. 
However, people win the lottery. <laughs> so you should know the beauty and amazingness of being with yourself. <laughs> you trust them, they support you. Yeah, that is beautiful. But what about the one who never cleans up the bathtub after themselves? What about the one who leaves the refrigerator open and everything melts and they do it all the time? What about the one who didn't tell you they drink in the morning? What about the one who didn't tell you they fuck everything walking by? So when you're gonna when you come home and want a break, it's a random dude on your couch. And why is he still here the next day? <laughs> and why is he eating here? <laughs> and why are we watching football? Like, you know, you haven't dealt with the little bits and pieces and the nuances that go with people being who they are. But it doesn't hurt to learn that data. If, especially if it's just a year lease. Why not? Why not? And it's a, it's a great opportunity to learn. You know, people are people. And they should be studied. <laughs> Sometimes medicated. And other times they should be left the fuck alone. So if it's financially... If it's financially a good thing to do and you guys believe you'll be of benefit to each other and friendly, why not? We need each other. Johnny, why do they call to us now from the government? What? I don't know what you mean, my dear Diani. Charlie. Right? It's been crazy. But trust that you are protected and you are guided. Don't overthink it. What you need will be provided for you at this time. Well, no, always. Probably always been that way, technically. Okay, Lotus, calm down now. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know what you mean. Diani, are you talking about your house? See, Charlie, that's what I'm saying. I think what you're I think what's happening is we're being given just enough, right? So you don't go out and do crazy stuff or get more than what is needed at this time. Shit is different now, ain't it? Shit is different right now. And I can't I, I just really get the energy of Soon, I don't know where y'all live, but I do. It's obvious the U.S. is escalating some pew pew with other countries, and I do believe we're we're practicing for something. We're practicing for some. They they are practicing for some type of uh, action. Uh, the words "show of force" is what I'm getting. I do feel like they're in the air uh, 
buzzing around, doing things uh, hard left, maybe learning hard turns and shit. I was really getting that. That's why I had to do that reading um, the other day. Might have to do another reading to see what's coming up. Uh, Twenty twenty five, oh boy. Well, looks like they're a little early. Twenty twenty five, looks like they're a little bit early on that. Hey, Six, what actions are, is the, what's the next action that U.S. and China? Because see, here's my problem. Yes, we, we have an issue with China. I don't think it's China that's really the issue, the big issue, though. I really don't. I, I feel weird about that data. I'm sorry. I feel like China is a squeaky wheel, but not the grizzly bear running out of the forest straight for your face. I don't think they are. I think it's somebody else we ain't talking about. Uh, right, Charlie. See, and look, blame the BPA, all that plastic and all the bottles and water turned all the guys light. Moving on, hey, six. <laughs> uh, did any, has anyone studied the BPA data? Anyways. Um, I'm just saying, hey, Six, uh, what's the next event that we will hear about? No, the ones we don't know about coming soon between the U.S. and whoever they're fighting with. Rise and shine. People waking up. That's what's going on. What else? Ooh. If she breathes, she's a <sighs> Side message. Just going to be some type of um, more conversation, more com louder conversation about expansion, feminine expansion. Fertility. What else? Children. Another major catastrophic event. Something perhaps around. Is this? Children. Major event does not feel like it's around children soon, though. Shift. Ew. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Anything else going on around the world? <laughs> Oh shit. People getting oh. news coming out where everybody realizes they got they may not have been given all the information. I think we all know where that one's going. Anything else? Coincidence? I think not. Oh god. Okay, as I said that we're we're um <clears throat> I'm going to double check this. Fuck. I hear about a death, somebody suddenly dropping. 
Uh, so this is going to be some type of celebrity or person of importance. I don't know why I feel like this will be over the next three days. But whatever it is, it has to do with, it's a lie. It's a lie. I think everybody's kind of going to know that, though. Somebody loses balance. It's a masculine. He loses balance. There may be a woman who sees this, a mother who sees this. It just short term, short. And so it is dismissed. Um, it's given, it's given reason. It's given a reason why it happened. Um, but it's a quick, it's in a quick event and they drop. I hear a very old song. I wish I could sing, but I can't. And I don't think I even have a voice for such a sound. But I hear, let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. That's a lot. So there's ideas about what's happening, but... People are stuck between a rock and a hard place. I see a medical person in a lab coat, but they look like a doctor. Damn, that card comes back. Two-faced ass motherfucker. That's what I heard. Somebody is having to publicly deal with words coming back and there it is the audio love tour it's a game very emotional one and there's fertility and the cycle and the cycle so there's going to be some type of conversations about, is that corn who sings that? I don't think that was corn, is it? I don't think that's corn. <laughs> Charlie, why you throw me off? I don't think that's corn. Uh, is it? But we're going to have to look that up. Anyways, let the bodies hit the floor. I don't think... See, now I'm distracted. Who sings that? Um, so women's cycles, we will be hearing something about that. Shining a light. Shining a light while other motherfuckers act like they ain't, they ain't heard that shit. The motherfuckers who should be speaking up on it, they ain't heard that shit. This is a problem. Let's clarify. Where are they? Where are they? Hey, six. They, they, something very, okay, so when I say they, I mean the motherfuckers who owe you an explanation. Where is, where are they? Hold on, this whole operation was your idea. Oh man. Where are they? Hello, Ascent of Phoenix. Welcome. Okay. They just magically fucking disappear. Isn't that nice? Um, what else? No. All right, that's pulling me down. All right. 
get back to regular questions. I was sorry, you guys. I had to drift into the world data because I'm. If you're new here, I'm a remote viewer before a tarot or card or any of that. So I'm. I'm far more interested in world events than sticky gooey love. Sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. Surrender. Oh boy. Lotus Rose, you were in an app and it says pregnancy for you this year. I don't do pregnancy readings. I try not to. Mm -mm. I don't even want to touch that data. Just never, I was never, unless we're looking for the little missing cuties. I, I, maybe it's because I'm not, this world is ugly. <laughs> I'm not always keen on the idea of bringing in an audience or bringing in more people to participate. And why ruin the surprise? <laughs> Why ruin such a beautiful surprise? All right, are you guys all on the love tour? Goddesses, some of y'all came here to do higher work. Relationships aren't working because you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. And I'm I'm the old chick in the room telling you this. The love stuff fails if you came here to do a different level of work. That's why it's not working. It's not that you're not lovable. It's not that they're just trash because they are sometimes. Not all of them, but sometimes they are. It's not working because you're supposed to be guiding And when we're not on the path, we get screwed up with <laughs> the other stuff. So that's why I always just say, just enjoy yourself, have fun. Sometimes your peoples, and sometimes you get a break. You should look at them like a temporary break when, when the when these temporary energies show up, you look at them like a little coffee break with life and you release them back to where they came from. <laughs> You're not supposed to be hanging on to the Ikea sofa for too long, is what I'm saying. And that's why it starts to hurt after a while and get uncomfortable. So enjoy the tickets to the show, but, you know, don't be like forging a tent in the parking lot trying to hang out for too long. Because <laughs> uh, that's weird. Don't do that. <laughs> You're sick of your heart hurting. Well, you should leave your heart at home. <laughs> Especially when they present their heart on. That's, that's all you need to hear. Okay, I'm going to tell you from my world, on my side of the land, because I know masculine energy and I know the energy of lust very well, studied it, created visuals for it for over two decades. The first signal that you're dealing with a couch, and that should be like, Let's take away couch. The first sign that you're at an amusement park. 
when you're dealing with others in love and passion. In the modern world right now, if you can get a guy to send you a picture of his dick, <laughs> you're at an amusement park. Don't bring a blanket and you swap out the mail and start getting mail over there at, the, at Disneyland. Get on the fucking rides and go home. You don't put your heart in that. You enjoy yourself. But as we know the difference between love and Disneyland, you may really enjoy Disneyland. You may love Mickey Mouse. You got love. You'll buy one and you'll pay all that money to go into the park. But you're smart enough to understand you don't live there, right? So if you can get a motherfucker to take nudes, um, send you something, or, or they're trying to get some booty right away, or he's talking sexual with you right away, amusement park. Okay? And as long as you stay in that mind frame with that person, they will have to put in work to show you something different that you will believe, something that you'll take differently. Until then, amusement park data... So you you can we can love the amusement park and I love them. They're great. Disneyland is fucking cool. But eventually you're going to go broke. <laughs> eventually the food is really not that good. I mean it's delicious cuz you've been walking 400 miles. The rides are fun, especially the log ride, right? <laughs> the log ride is awesome. That's cool. Spin you around in a circle, and then you realize it's a small fucking world, and it's time to go. <laughs> or they they certainly think that way, because they know it was an amusement park. But you show up with your heart in your hands, and you're like, I love you. I want to stay here, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mickey Mouse, I want to move in. Can I hold the remote control? And Mickey Mouse is like, bitch, are you twisted? So you got to look at the amusement park for what it is. And if you're sick of the amusement park, then you got to go home. Can't take Mickey Mouse with you. Can't. <laughs> you can't. But we all know the difference in our heart with that, right? I could love you, but it's got to love myself more. And the ride sucks after a while. You get dizzy, you puke on yourself. Shit's all fucked up weird and your friends are also going to think you're weird because why the fuck are you at an amusement park all day they can see it's an amusement park what's your issue <laughs> they can see it's an amusement park and ladies we you you owe it to yourselves to have better vision and so your heart needs to go into your gucci bag where it must remain and for a you know since since there's so much insanity going on in the world, fellas, cover your ears if you're in here. If you guys are in here, just cover your ears. Ladies, they're all amusement parks. Just umbrella that data. If you're a single woman and you've been single for a little while now, they're all amusement parks. Enjoy yourself. Get off the ride. Straighten your skirt. and Get back to your car. Before, you know, you can get out of the parking lot in time before you hit traffic. <laughs> They're all amusement parks. Narrow that down and have yourself a good time. Because right now, the way the world is going, literally people are dropping dead. If you don't go out there and have a good time, and I got some bad news for you too. Hold on. Behind everybody's back while they're spinning up all this chaos and calamity. Let me tell you something. I did a reading the other night. I hope I can remember to do it for video. It's going to be a wave of some shit nobody fucking considered over the next year or two. The people at the top of the food chain are going to have to work 10 times harder to keep you distracted. Us as a planet. 
not just where you are and where you are. I'm talking to everybody who took that sticky sticky. They're going to have to work a hundred times harder to keep us distracted right now. Because what's happening or what's being unfolded is deeper than all things imagined. And so if they got to go nuke some motherfuckers to make you look over there, that this is the level of shit we're talking. Or I'm talking. It's it's going to take a, a force, a global force, to control what you're paying attention to. And they're going to, like, literally, they're going to throw the kitchen sink at us to keep you from looking at what's going on right ahead at 12 o'clock. I didn't do a letter reading, I did cards and like a little bit of remote viewing. Um, but boy, oh boy, I'll try to put letters to this so that it's right out there instead of just me saying it. Um, I'll try to do this with that reading tomorrow. What they're going to have to do to keep everybody distracted is so much bigger than you and your roommates or you and love or any of that. Fuck, fuck all that. Uh, literally right now, fuck all of that. You guys are friends, you're going to have a good time, do it. You got some artistic stuff you like doing, do that shit. Stop worrying about the money. Let those of you who are connected, the universe will take care of you. Do what you gotta do. But, but make it make it, make it important to enjoy what's left. Because the spin cycle down the toilet is on. It's on. It's on. It's on. And, what's and what's coming? Ooh, 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 in a minute. In a minute. Can you guys, can you guys hear, me? You guys, you guys hear me? All right, how about this one? All right, how about this one? Ooh. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's okay on the mic stuff. It happens, it's all right. Thank you guys for pointing that out to me. Thank you, thank you. That happened. That might have happened before. All right. That may have happened before. <laughs> See? Okay, well. <laughs> I maybe should stop running my mouth right there. I'm just going to say enjoy life and smile and 
sit on some furniture if that's what makes you feel good. And don't look for more in that right now. What's important is that you are strong and together and aware, mostly, you know? Those of you who are here to connect on a higher level, awareness is what we got to work with right now. So as I started in the beginning, love your freedom. Um, the audio love tour of Ruin X may be upon all of us. I think this is, I think this is upon all of us. So a lot of stuff that's being spoken and told is, maybe it's not 100% of the data, just maybe. I don't know. It's possible it's not 100%. And yes, ch listen, Charlie. Bumper sticker, T-shirt, and balloon, please. <laughs> Ignorance is motherfucking bliss. Because once you start to wake up, there's no going back to sleep for you. It just doesn't work that way. And then you start noticing how everybody else is asleep. And if you truly love them, truly, and if you truly love humanity, leave them asleep. I hate to say that. Let them continue to sleep. Let them continue. Is those of us, if you look around really, really, it's really not that many of us that are truly paying attention. I think any, I think a lot of levels of attention are courtesy of TikTok videos and shit like that. But I don't think everybody's like really awake. <laughs> like really. I've heard a lot of people like do the videos talking about 144,000. And I used to laugh at those videos. I really did like, you guys are nuts. And then I was like, but wait a minute. <laughs> Push forward to this time. I'm like, question mark? And then quietly back out of the room. It's interesting. It's interesting how many just, I don't think a lot of people are going to be able to cope with what's irreversible. But as somebody who really did just go through Rona Rona myself, I didn't go through the stick it in my arm version. I caught it. I could tell you if I had to go into a lab to make some shit to take people out, that, 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 I would have, yeah, I, that's about it right there, buddy. That was about it. Is it really steps? No fucking way. Hold on. No fucking <gasps> This is crazy. This is crazy. All right, you guys, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop here. Wait, is it okay now? It sounds like there's still residual static. I'm turning the audio down and I've switched to microphones. <laughs> Dude, it's a whole different microphone. And it's, I took it from 100 to 28 on the mic. Ooh. 
Alrighty then. So, huh. <laughs> Girl, I'm scared to say anything now, Lotus. Who could touch the audio like that? Okay, well. All right, have you guys tried any new ice cream lately? Hmm. How's the, nope, shouldn't say how's the weather. That's probably bad too. Good Lord. Okay, Lotus. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna stop. All right, Charlie, it's gonna be your job to stop me when I start doing it. <laughs> you have to say, slow down. All right, side, you got to slow down, bitch. <laughs> slow it down. Oh, man. That's intense. All right, let's, let's focus on you, Lotus. What is your real-world boots-on-the-ground question? No. Really? I'm done. I'm done. I wonder if... Hold on. Let me see if we say... One more can. One more can. If it's, if this is a problem, it's the app, not me. If it's, this is microphone number three. <laughs> microphone number three, let's try this. Is it loud enough? Is it okay? Is it loud enough? All right. Okay, I think Lotus, goddess, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see if I can find your question. Unless you want to type it again. Yeah, I'm not touching anything. So we're on microphone number three now. I'm fast with it, but can't beat the machine all the time, I guess. What do you think? That is a wide question, my dear. But let's see what's important. Feels like an income. somebody coming in from the past 
ex-friend, ex-lover, someone from the past. Wait a minute. That's not what I'm getting. Hold on. This is somebody you... I'm not going to... They don't feel like an ex. It feels like somebody that it didn't work out with or somebody that was short-term interest in. They're coming back in to get a boost of uh, self-esteem from you. It's like somebody who wants to know if they can still hit it or if you, would you open to them? Would you be open to them? If somebody wants you to confirm their, okay, that's odd. What I just heard was a commercial, Trojan men. Somebody wants to know if they can stick their Trojan <laughs> Or they want to know if you would still be open to them. But let's see what how this turns out. Because this looks more like a journey of you boosting somebody's self-esteem helping them see themselves or continue to see themselves in a certain way. If you engage in this and you play along, what's the outcome? Six months? Person gonna work your motherfucking nerves, I'll tell you that much. Um, to whoever this is coming in from your past, you have to get rid of it. It's a little bit more of a test. It's a test, like they're coming in on their self esteem. The only reason they can even talk to you or fuck with you is because they know how to pick at your self esteem. So, watch that about yourself at this point. It's like somebody who thinks that they look so good or they're so great that they can come in and get a boost of energy or a boost of ego. You'll drool over them and then they can go back and finish whatever they was doing before. So be mindful of what you're calling in. You're calling in something you should have been over. So you want to be careful with your love inside because you could probably make excuses for somebody coming through the door and then they get to hang out too long. This is something you should have been over that's coming back through. Did you unlearn? Well, if you want to know about money, you gotta be specific. <laughs> See, that's the end that for that. We should be specific. It's one of the reasons I don't like questions. I like numbers. Let's see before I log off. Notice. Pick two numbers, the most, pick two numbers that catch your attention. Not numbers that mean anything, no birthdays or any of that. Which two numbers on this card catch your attention? First. Oof, no way, really? Five and zero? Okay. So there's some new starts. All right. I don't know how this applies. That is old. 
Well done. I hear Luther Vandross. Give me a reason. I don't know what that applies to, but it's stuck in my head. Okay. There's something you're not in motion about. In motion, need to be doing something about. It's like knowing you gotta do something, or so are there some responsibility things you got to work on right now? Five and zero. Uh, that's a number that includes some lessons and restarts. Losing things. Make sure whatever's going on at this time you're asking about money, don't sit still waiting on it to be handed to you. I get that. Just getting things in balance at this time. What I heard was, I ain't got it, I ain't got it. And whatever lesson you're getting out of this time, I, you're probably not regarding it as such, but what you are supposed to be getting out of this time is another like, wake up and awareness like, hey, you don't like this situation, right? So when you're out of it, make sure it doesn't happen again. You're making yourself go crazy. Overthinking. But there is, I don't know who the good guy is who went bad, or maybe you feel like you gotta do something bad to eat or pay bills, don't let that type of energy come in. Be aware of shiesty ass offers. I don't know who you need to talk to about it, but there is somebody, there's some type of communication with others that has, maybe you are late. So communication needs to be had. Some people like the drug of awareness. Instead of continuing to dig a hole, I do see this though. If you're having financial issues, um, overthinking and only thinking about what isn't working is making more of what's not working. It's like saying I want things to be calm and peaceful, but pouring everything that is volatile into your environment. And so you may have a natural comfort with this type of energy. You may have a, um, whether it's people or just in the thoughts, it feels like wanting things to be peaceful, but surrounding yourself with chaos, whether that's people or, or, or your thoughts. So you came here to do something bigger. You are a guide. Something went along, something on the path might have made you a different kind of guide on a emo mental, emotional level. So you may think in terms of 
what you don't want it to in a, on a, in a very intense way. And so this can create sensitive issues when it comes to you and groups of people. As far as money though, back to that. There is communication that should be had at this time by those who can assist and present you with options. I don't know what anybody does, but maybe a temporary situation. And you might have somebody I don't feel like this is how you get out of it now. I'm sorry. I feel like you need to be prepared for should this come around again, what happens the next time and what you can do to not have this issue. I do feel like once you get, I don't know where you are in the process of your awakening, my dear, but don't overthink the money situation. I think you need to calm yourself down and look at what your options are. Because what I'm feeling right now is heavy belly, stress, anxiety, cortisol. The word cortisol <laughs> comes through. don't even see what's in here. Okay. You have friends. You may even have a masculine energy that you did not take interest in in any way. And something about opening your fucking mouth because a closed mouth don't get fed. You do have somebody in your zone. But you have, a, you are holding back. So there's a different way of being that you have to unlearn that has everything to do with your comforts in the future. And you're getting discomfort. Oh, God. You're getting this discomfort right now so you can come out of your shell. It's uncomfortable. So you've got to come out of your shell. The universe is like outside your door waiting to help you. I'm not... And I'm not saying open your door and run into the street, not like that. But in a in life, there are people who are close to us who could be of assistance, but you choose to say nothing. And then no one would know that you're hurting. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's like, oh, you're the most sturdy person. No one would ever know that you need a helping hand, and we all do. We all do at some point in life. And I don't give a damn how great life is for you at some point. Whether it's now or when you're 90, somebody's going to have to help you change your stinking ass diaper. So you are going to have to learn how to be <laughs> open to help. Open to getting help. Open to letting someone assist you. You don't have friends? Okay, we'll see. There's some issues going on right there. You don't have friends, you don't have an ex. Well, it looks like you need to go outside. And if this is a money situation directly and you feel like there are no options, what energy do you need to be in? Because these are seeds you got floating in your own mind. Somebody's already told you they would help you and you didn't believe them. Oh, one of y'all was going, what the fuck? That wouldn't happen. It's somebody friend zone. And you don't think that's the case. So that's how blocked you are. So unless you are locked up in a cage and someone else has the key, you've encountered people that you're friendly with. Somebody you wouldn't even think about getting closer to, but you're friendly. Or somebody you don't fuck with no more, but you're friendly. And you don't see anything else. And so you don't comprehend. Angels look like all kind of different ways of angels. Some are fat, some are skinny, some got wings, but not really. <laughs> 
Some are fine, it, but not always. A lot of, you know, there's a lot of angels don't all look alike, is what I'm saying, okay? No, I'm not answering who. No, no, no. I'm not going to. Lotus, you're, you're behind the eight ball, my dear. So you're going to have to, like, do some of this work, too. So <laughs> I can flip a card, but I'm not. I don't think I'm supposed to, like, make it that easy for you. Because the idea is that you move forward and don't go backward and ever experience this again. There's that right there. So you have to learn how to act, move in a fearless way. But you got to go through some shit to get to that. So let's see what energy you, the self keeps coming out. So let's see what energy you need to be in. So you can stop making the bad frequency waves that's, that you feel are slowing you down. Now I'm just talking about frequency. How you need to be thinking. Feeling. Self. So. <laughs> Aquarius energy, free flowing, that's water, yeah, and the star, right? It's liquid data. So you gotta be free and free flowing, ready to move when the time comes. When the universe says, hey, here's some help, I'm gonna put an angel right in front of you. Are you ready or are you gonna be like, get the fuck out of my face, bro? Who the fuck are you? And then, you know, Oh, so what, Lotus? You got to do you? You got to do what you're supposed to be doing? Exactly. And this is why I say, for five minutes, you forgot. Okay? So you do have somebody who's loyal to you, loves you, would help, or at least give you some stable advice. And I care about you, but whoever this is ain't me. And it's not, it, it feels like, um, whoever it is, they've experienced darkness. They've experienced ego breaking. Or their ego being broken, however, that's a problem. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> know what I'm trying to say. Whoever it is, they've been chained to struggle before. They're familiar with greed and doubting yourself. And through whoever this is, mm -hmm. through someone else's awareness, you, you get on the path of learning how to balance out your own shit. So you don't have to go through this anymore. Because you do, on one end, I feel like you need to trust. I don't know if you are religious or not. I am not, okay? I do believe that we all have guides, people on the other side who are waiting for us so that we can all come back in together or go wherever the fuck else we go. But I do think we do have assistance, okay? And in that assistance they can help in many in many ways from across the, di the dimensions they can help and you do have to get to a place where you know that you can trust that you're being if you feel like you're being guided you're being assisted and so you have to be open to that but if you sit around thinking about uh-oh <laughs> if all your daily thoughts are uh-oh you're going to get a uh oh you're going to get that it's it's the most proven data that none of us work on or will fuck with cuz we we've, we've been taught to fear ourselves before we believe ourselves or believe in ourselves we've been taught to fear ourselves so you got to get to a place where it's all about you and you know that and you can trust that you got some 
divine beings around you. Loyalty from beyond and here on the ground. But it requires you getting to that place of I don't even want to say that because you're not going to do it. I could say, like, don't worry about it. Don't worry, be happy. And I mean that in the most literal fucking sense imaginable. Because that's part of the keys of getting out of the place where you're not happy. You have to move in that energy. And it can't be talked about. It has to be done. But again, at this point right now, closed mouth don't get fed. So... Sit quietly for a little while. I feel like the universe is going to present your guided assistant, tour guide, real world, feet on the ground. But you do have to be willing to open up and say, I need help. Or, this is how I'm feeling. This is what I'm going through. Downside, you may have to say it more than once. Or maybe you do have to say it once. As I say that, <laughs> as I say that, one comes out. It's either one person or it's a masculine, okay? And you have to be the lady in distress a little bit and let it happen. There is a meeting of somebody like, I don't think feel like meeting like you've never met him before. I don't think it's that. But I think it's somebody who's confused about how to interact with you, deal with you. And they may have ideas or money in their pocket. It's a key. You will meet or deal with them. They're in your, they're in your zone. They're around you. Let's see. It may suck, but it may take six days, up to six days between a year and six days for you hit this plate, for you get to this person or see this person, meet them, talk to them. This, at that point, um, solution is created, discussed, visualized, guided, whatever the words are. This is somebody you were indifferent about or mean towards, almost. I hate to say it. And through the connection or reconnection, there's a realization that you thought incorrectly about them. It might be somebody who tried to be friendly with you and maybe you weren't. Now you guys are around at work or something or you run into them at the grocery store and you just strike up random conversation or they're doing something that sparks up an idea. They could be standing next to something and y'all start talking and you discover they can help you. Again, closed mouth, don't get fed. You're not working at this time, but you do go to, gotta eat. There's that test again. Is, is there something new you could be considering learning for the future? Oops. Theta. Most of your interactions are online. Oh, you can make money online though. Dude, I'm not gonna suggest because you know. <laughs> I'm definitely out of this reading. Good night, y'all. Um, I'm not gonna suggest what anybody does online. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm just gonna say we both know it's jobs online. So you can cut that out right there. It's work online. And it's work that will sustain you for a long time. 
So if you're not working and you got a computer with internet access and you ain't making no money, that's between you and your God. I got nothing to say about that. That's lazy right there. And I'm going to call you out on your shit. I'm going to call you out on your shit. That's bullshit right there. You could do phone bone. Uh -huh. You could package up stuff. You could learn how to do readings and read for people. And if you're talking, I need money right now, that's still something you could find online. There's places that will help you with roof over your head. There's places that donate. There's places that will give out food and tell you where to go pick it up at. So if you got internet access and you're sitting over here asking me about this, that, and the other, and you need money, the universe wants to know why do you keep putting yourself in this spot. So, okay, we're going to make it hurt a little bit, and maybe you'll be planning for next month. We can get you out of this month. I do see that availability there. But what are you doing about next month? This is an illusion you're making up in your own head. I just make you up to hurt myself. I just, ooh, was the song only for you? Was Trent Reznor just for you? The song is called Only. You need to look it up. Ooh, wee. And look, Charlie, look, Charlie over here writing money in the chat. Working solutions. Is that a company, girl? I just made you up to hurt myself. Stop it. And it worked. Yes, it did. <laughs> there is no yet. There is only me. The Audio Love Tour, Ruin X, Knock It Off. Lotus, it is not, it's not about luck. Not about luck. Okay, Lotus, I'm gonna need you to stop that. Do you have headphones? You, if you got earplugs, headphones, um, a plug to it, so you can watch internet, I'm gonna need you to do the following. Affirmations, look at, look up the word, A-F-F-I-R-M-A-T-I-O-N-S. Tonight when you fall asleep, listen to some I am grateful, thankful affirmations. Get your mind off what you don't have. Break that shit ASAP. You're in control of your brain. Break that. Because you, you're calling it into your orbit. Your mind might be a little bit more powerful than you are willing to accept at this point. So sometimes we can think about stuff and then it just happens, right? So if you think about, uh oh, I wish I had, by the time you're done with that thought, you could be broke. So literally, I'm not playing with you when I say this. You literally have to fine tune all thoughts like that out. For right now, you gotta eat, get money on the, on the table, so do what you gotta do for this, at this time. Whether it's having to have food donated, I don't know how far it's going with you, but you cannot. It's, it's a mind over matter type of thing. It's deep. Literally, if you're able to manifest your thoughts into fruition that you can see quickly, that applies to everything. Okay, you all right with food. So, every look at go back and go back and look up everything you just tap typed into this chat. Just scroll up and see everywhere you wrote and look at how much ain't got it you typed in. That can never happen again. That energy dies. And I'm, look at how many times you were jumping at me that, for me to answer a question, too. So that, that, that's cool energy, but wrong direction. Great laser, wrong direction. So if you got energy and you froggish like that, and you could jump like that, bitch, answer my question, Sigh. Did you see my question, bitch? If you got that kind of energy, that laser is pointed in the wrong direction. <laughs> That, that energy is all in the wrong direction. And so if you've got that type of drive, what can you do with it? And to say all the, I can't do this. Like, Charlie put something in the chat, you fill in the blanks immediately why it won't work. 
Guess what? You're going to get more of that. You're right. You're right. Charlie's going to go, okay, I just suggested three different things. You shot them all down. Let me remove my energy. I'm going to go over here and eat ice cream. Because your energy is, is anti, and it your energy is all subtraction, girl. I don't even want to fuck with that. That's all subtraction. And it's not a necessary energy if you can manifest. You don't have to do that. Let everybody else do that shit. But you're anxious in a form in a form of subtraction. We could be anxious. I, listen, I'm anxious when I ride stiff dick, girl. <laughs> when I'm getting some good ding dong shit, I'm anxious too. But I'm not thinking about subtraction. So don't fuck me with your words. Okay? Don't fuck me with that negativity. So tonight and here beyond, the only subtraction you doing is when you taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. Ha ha, that was my dirty joke for the night. You're welcome. <laughs> when you are doing the one and the two in the bathroom, that is the only subtraction us goddesses fuck with. Huh? <laughs> that is the only subtraction. Everything else is bullshit. Let your guides take care of you. The universe is going to care for you. You have food right now. So that is something to be grateful for. Right now, somebody's waking up and the whole building next door to them just blew up. Some people woke up to an earthquake that collapsed their buildings. Start with the big picture and then you can, you know, zoom in a little bit closer to your image. You want ice cream? See, look. The fact that you can even consider, I want ice cream. Somebody's wondering where the fuck their baby's at under all that rubble. Shout out to Turkey. Shout out to Turkey prayers up all day. That's coming for us though. That's gonna be us in America. Oh my God, Charlie. I'm so sorry. Pretty intense, guys. Oh. Goodness, guys. That might be your day to two, girl. Might be your day to two. Hmm. Hmm. But you came here to do other work and inspire others. And I'm not sure why we have to suffer so fucking much to get to the work we're supposed to do or even to remember these little bits and pieces of ourselves. But we do. At least that's what it looks like to me. Looks like we have to go through some of the most unbelievable things. Because you have the strength to do it while others can't pull themselves out of it. And the isolation is a part of the suffering and the healing, but it gives you time. No one's taking anything from you. No one's hurting you. The noise is made by you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it hurts, but I don't think we wake up without pain. God damn it. <laughs> I, I don't think we wake up without that that alarm clock. You, we've all heard the alarm clock, the one that disrupts your soul when you wake up. Like, and you wake up angrier than a motherfucker. That motherfucker's going off. We've all heard it. It's the bells or the the phone, your, your phone 
on its loudest setting. And it's that, it's something that makes you wake up pissed off. I think we do have to go through some of the worst. And I think it's, and while it's the worst, it's not the absolute worst. I do think we are protected from the absolute worst, but I do think enough pressure and pain gets applied to try to wake you up and make you understand or remember or locate the people you are here to assist. And if you look at the world right now, it's pretty fucked up. I'm not telling nobody not to have kids. I'm not. I personally wouldn't bring none in. Look at what just happened. And we're not gonna know for 10, 15, or the legal number, 75. They have 75 years to tell you when that thing is gonna cause problems. And while you, and maybe some of us, not all of us got those sticky sticky in the arm things, that doesn't mean your partner won't have it. And if your partner has it, you still run the risk of making, bringing in someone who will never get to awaken because they have health issues or they lose you at an early age because you got health issues. I just don't know if I would be. It's, it's the end of the spin cycle. If you can't see that now, I then do what you came to do. But I, I do think the awakening for those of us who do get to experience it, I think it, it does have to be like wild and fucked up, man. Like lifetime movie shit that goes in a book. I su I hope we get to ask why when we leave this spacesuit. I hope we get to ask why, but I also get the vibe that even if we got the answer, we still wouldn't. It would still be just as unsettling. <laughs> and yes, the shot. They, they, they haven't spoken on the long-term effect. But everybody's nuts if y'all think they haven't studied the long-term effect. It's a bioweapon. I literally, on my um, TikTok page, on my TikTok page, I literally have a video of Fauci in 2017 talking about exactly what we're going through. It, what it was going to look like, what it was going to be like, what they'd be gathering data for him and his wife study this. They told everybody what the event was. A group of people sat in a room several years ago and plotted out what the world would look like, what they could get rid of, what they could keep. The plan to cull the population was already in place. It's, it's done. It's already done. The best everybody could do right now is live life and not make the swirl down the toilet bowl go faster. That's the best we can hope for. I dare to, I, I almost feel like if that bunker stuff is true, motherfuckers are going there. People would go, I don't know how you would verify such, but I would feel like that's what's happening now. And everybody, Fauci, no, 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 Lotus, you got to go, like, go look backwards on this data. Everything was already said. People were just not paying attention. And this is what happens when you got a realm where they specialize in distraction. And if they put a knee on a motherfucker's neck, and if they make us all fight because we all want to call each other crayon boxes, crayon box colors, if we all want to fight over the stuff that really doesn't matter, and they can help us do that. Well, everybody's like, where are the space aliens? <laughs> Whenever I hear that, I'd be like, yeah, let's all look up. No, no, my dear. The aliens are on the ground. They're the ones who think that you need recoding. 
Herb derp. <laughs> They're the ones who think we need to be re-encoded. And literally, as I said that, I get beeping in my ears right now. I'm done with this data. <laughs> the big uh, agenda is gender is No. No. No, Lotus. See? Look how great the distraction is. The distraction is so deep and so thick and so layered. You don't even know who the enemy is. You have no clue. No, no. Gender issue, distraction. That's a leaf on the tree. Where are the roots? How do I feel about gender roles in LGBTQ? I think it's it's dust. It's dust. It's a part of the distract. Listen. I don't care if you LGBTQ, R, G, X, Y, and Z. What people do in their bedroom has nothing to do with politics. You understand? Has nothing to do with politics. Has nothing to do with how you eat. Has nothing to do with how your neighbor eats. Has nothing to do with your neighbor stockpiling guns so he can shoot at people later. The issue is whether or not you make a good slave. And there's too many of you. <laughs> It's too many of you. It's too many of you, and now you're all starting to learn you got rights, and you can say stuff like no. And y'all are marching and knocking stuff over. You don't make, you're not a great pet. Politics is one way they make you look that way. It sicknesses, you can look over here. We give you job to work on, but we don't pay you enough, and we rate make things higher. You're distracted. We can throw a million different flavors at this, but none of those things are the root. Those are branches and leaves. Those are fruits, literally. But none of that shit is the root because none of those things could be if you weren't a slave to it. Not a drop of it could exist if you we're not a slave to it. And so to exist in this realm, you must be a slave to ideology. You must be a slave to somebody else's thoughts, somebody else's decision to fight. You must be a slave to the belief that my country, tis of thee, is greater than yours, when none of this land was created by not none of us. None of it's yours. But if I say it's mine and I get you to pile on with me, we can go fight those people over there, take their land and put our flag down. Nothing has none of, none of it means a thing. Because when we die, it don't go with you. But they create a whole environment of suffering to keep you distracted. Why? Because in between you make a great slave. You still get up and go to work. I don't give a damn how mad you get or whether I'm pol political, Republican, blue, red, orange, or green, it doesn't matter. Get up and go to work, slave. Eat this food. Shut your fucking mouth. Make it comfortable for the rich people who know all about coming back in and out of this realm. And they will do everything they can to make each return better for them. Why do you think there are bloodlines? because some of them know how to come back with comfort. If you knew you had to regenerate back into this realm, would you want to come back struggling or on top? Again, the rest of us make great pets. But at the top of the food chain, they need slaves. And y'all are annoying. <laughs> But look at all the distractions they feed us. In 10 years, nothing you're struggling with right now will matter. If we're still here. Literally. Lotus. You know, if in two years, if I told you right now in two years, we're, you're, you're not going to be here. You're not. If I told you literally in two years, no doubt, not none of us. Or, or we're in a studio, or in a stadium. The person to your left and your right. Remember those speeches? Look at the person to your left, look at the person to your right. 
neither one of those motherfuckers is going to be here. They will get the population numbers down. Please don't think anything different. Does your complaints and concerns, I mean, like, how much does that shit matter? What you should be looking for is to exit with peace. And so get to know that now. Get to know yourself, the self, as best you can. There's paperwork issues for everybody. Everybody surf suffering financially to some degree. That's why they want to take all the money away. They want you to be happy on the way out. Because they know they're about to delete us. Why do you think drugs are becoming illegal? They want you to be comfortable on the way out. So that way you won't go find them. <laughs> you won't go find them and ask for shit like explanations and help. Do I feel the government? I don't think they, they don't care. Honey. Sad part is the government are slaves too. A lot of them are slaves too, unfortunately. And when they are no longer of use, they, they're, the kaboom happens for all of us. The, the sudden, the sudden drop will happen for all of us when it's time. So I would say do what you can to enjoy your life right now because the, the loss and all that's going on, it's, it's, it's so very far from over. And, and yeah, they, you know, I, I know a lot of people I used to say nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna stop being colored and LGBTQ and all this stuff, and Republicans, and all of that will die. All of that will end. When each and every one of us can walk outside, look up at the sky and see a big old rock flying this way, <laughs> or a missile, whatever it is, until we can all go outside and realize how how useless this shit is, nothing changes. You're too programmed. You feel they do to a certain extent, it's classified. But what was it before it was classified? Hopefully you heard me say that. Before it was classified and written and told to people in offices, where where was that data? <laughs> it was it was in our hands. It was it was it's always been available to you. Go outside. <laughs> Go outside, interact with the earth. If we didn't have TV to look at, we as a species would be a lot further along collectively. <laughs> but the data has always been inside you. That's the crazy part. I do think we all possess a connection to what I call the hard drive. Some people like to say things like Akashic Records. I don't go that far. I do believe that there's a there's a maybe that we exist on some levels of a simulation. Some kind of way. There's a programming. I don't want to say exactly what I believe. It goes far. But I do believe the data's always been in us. It's it's coded into you it, genetically, DNA. It's coded into you. But if you are distanced from that, if you receive something that alters your genetics, maybe they have more success at making you more robotic. I don't know. You know, but I do believe that connection to the hard drive is encoded in your very, in the structure of self. It's in your, it's encoded into your DNA. Why do you think they needed it to create this germ? Think about all the people who sent in that, their blood and spit so they could know who they were related to. 
what is that ancestry 23 and me stuff they needed that so they could do what they're doing to us right now and everybody just gave it on up here you go but you know what happened i ain't gonna be racist but certain certain places on the planet and certain certain colors of people did not play ball and take this so it's going to be distributed upon them in another way. But for now, I can tell you for a fact, my dear, the answers are out there and in us. So they put something in you and they alter the way the sequence works. They alter the way you connect, if you can connect at all. Those who would have experienced an awakening are now different. Just different. Did I see your comment about the EEOC? Yes, I did. What is my view of intelligent alien life? <laughs> We're here. What do you mean? <laughs> You're here. You are alien. You're an alien inside of a spacesuit. Have you ever do this weird shit? Don't do it before you go to bed, though. <laughs> Don't do this shit before you go to bed because it'll fuck you up. You get, have you ever gone on Google and looked up what the brain and the spinal cord look like when they're attached? Not the body, but just the the, the brain part and then the spinal cord. We look kind of fucking alien, I'm just saying. <laughs> we look hella alien. Do I think those who took the jab are doomed? I don't like the word doomed. You took, you believed. You believed. But they were testing your belief all along. Flu shots? Flu shots. Vaccines. Why do we need vaccines? Do you really? I mean, like... <sighs> Earth existed before we got here. I think we might all feel comfortable with agreeing with that. So what is of this Earth has been of this Earth. All of these little nuances that make germs and flus and virus things... You really think that stuff existed before? <laughs> do you think, do you really think dinosaurs ever caught the flu? <laughs> or chicken pox? They didn't. They didn't. Didn't happen. Dinosaurs and cavemen were not walking around with Kleenex. So what made the germs? So where did that stuff come from? And if you believe in afterlife, go look up Fauci and then go look up the other doctor who worked on the flu, Spanish flu, and you and then go look at the dates. One died and the other one received life into this realm. It's it'll fuck you up. But you gotta be looking. And ain't none of us looking. We look, well, I'm looking for ice cream. But ain't none of us. <laughs> the data's out there. It's just whether or not you are opting to believe in what a man in a robe will tell you in a church or what somebody you think you elected would tell you. You crossed over for three days when you were 19. What did you see? Okay, tell us what's on the other side. Does it feel orgasmic? Because I always vision it feeling orgasmic. Ooh. Okay.
okay, no, we're talking about crossing over, not ice cream. Stop, that's gonna make my stomach growl. But it sounds delicious. <laughs> Ooh, it sounds delicious. It, it's, it felt better than an orgasm, okay. It felt better, wow. Oh. Shelly, you should be drawing this stuff. All of you motherfuckers who actually got to put your foot back over the gate, y'all have a duty to tell us. Charlie, do you work with, um, I don't know if you do art. I just started messing around with this um, AI stuff. This um, And there's videos all over YouTube about doing this photography or text, text to image AI stuff. You y'all got y'all owe it to us to show us pictures. I'm just saying. Feel how you want to feel. Okay, Lotus Rose, I'm gonna answer your question and then I'm done. You just said, can is there money around that is owed to you? But you're not aware of it. Ooh, girl, no. Okay, um. I think you're hoping that's the case. Let's do this. I'm gonna live chat tomorrow. I want you to rephrase that question. Um, I think it's the person you put in on it. But let's clear the energy space right now. Because I don't like your anxiety around your questions. I want you to do some meditation. I don't like your anxiety around your questions. Because you're, you're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck, dear. I want you to get some meditation bubble bath if you got time. I need you to clear out that anxiety energy. I know it's tough, but you actually can do it. That's the thing. Let me ask one for you. Do you have, does Lotus Rose have money available from the universe around you, nearby, that you simply don't see. So I, I'm going to stop with your questions right there because you don't see it. And I'm not saying you don't see it as in it's in a box and you don't see it. Um, so let's, for the next, until I come back on, if you're around, or until we see each other again here on this, I want you to get some rest and clear your energy. I want you to cleanse your energy. And I don't mean like no, 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 none of that black magic art, artist stuff, none of that. I'm talking like shower and think, I meant, use the shower water to cleanse the body and the mind. A bath, um, a period, give yourself 24 hours of not looking at tarot or only watching 
Tarot that is like data. No other people questions data. Because right now your your vision is blind. You're blind. On a cosmic level of what you need to see to move forward, you're blind. And there's some quiet time so you can even see what's next. You keep doing it. You keep doing it and you have to stop. It might be something you even came here to work on too. How you think, how you overthink, keep thinking when you're supposed to be moving your feet. I'm so sorry my camera's shaking. I'm just jiggling it. <laughs> sorry. So, okay. So I need you to count on, take me away, bubble bath this data, because your, uh, your inner eye is, you know, it's a little blurry back there. It's okay. But you have divine vision. I tell you, I tell you, man, coming out of this shit is so, it's like, it's like pulling yourself out of quicksand. But it wouldn't even be given to you unless you were here to do greater work. So, but time, that, that clock, man, is ticking. So there's an energetic field of thinking. There's a frequency that you need to fucking pass on. You gotta get past it, move past it, change it. And if these were sound waves, like up, down, up, up, what is this? <laughs> like it doesn't work that way. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up. So getting your your frequency in balance isn't happening right here. So we gotta work on this part. And nobody likes that broken record data either, do they? But the universe wants to give you back what's owed to you. But you gotta you gotta get to that quiet place where you can see it. Sit quietly, it will come. The, whatever it is, the message, the person, however your story or work comes to you, however the gift is given, is what I just heard. What I just heard is however the gift is given or the reward. One last message for Lotus. Horizon shine. Woo! Bitch, we all going for some ice cream, okay? <laughs> some ice cream. Uh, you got some ice, put it in. Wrap a paper towel around it, because I wasn't always a kid with money. <laughs> Sometimes ice cream just is a piece of ice with some paper towels around it. Anything else for Lotus? Six. Stop it. Get some help. Ooh. Six, do you have any other messages to calm Lotus while she's altering the frequency for the next 24 hours? No. God damn. All right, Six, do you have any closing messages for everyone who's watching? Okay. What's your message? That was annoying. What's your message? They played us like a damn fiddle. One more. It is not a close call. It's time for you to step up and be an adult. This is not a close call. It's time for you to step up and be adult, an adult, okay, okay. You were using talk to text, man. All right, I feel like six wants one more. Go ahead. Don't stop, don't stop, yeah. 
Tú. All right, six is telling me don't stop, but take a moment, clear your energy, so we, we maybe we can get, so I don't feel blocked in trying to answer you, Lotus, because there are times when I do feel blocked to answer, like I can't answer you right now while your tunnel vision is like, it's got to be this. You need to be able to be open to, it could be all of that. <laughs> but I'm glad you understood six. That helps, because I don't always understand. <laughs> I don't always understand, but my hands are hella dry. All right, guys and goddesses. I do thank you guys for hanging out with me, and we will do this again. Man, yan, error. Man. You know what I'm saying tomorrow. <laughs> but I hope you guys get your rest, especially you, Lotus. I hope you're not like a four or a five hour sleeper or nothing crazy like that. And I just got the vision of blackout. Um, one of y'all needs blackout curtains or an eye mask to get the maximum rest that your brain needs so that it can turn the fuck off. One of y'all has a brain that's rope, that's the wheels are rolling in your sleep, bitch. You're gonna need you a mask. Or some good blackout curtains and turn down your TV so it's not flashing at you in your sleep. I'm just telling you what I see. Okay? I don't know who that was for. So do enjoy your beauty rest. Oh. How is March going to be? I'm not answering that. You're going to have to work on that tomorrow. Now, you know that's a long question, Charlie. <laughs> ah, but I will get that. I will get you that answer. We could try that one tomorrow, guys. If you will allow me. Um, I don't know if one of y'all needs a, a comedy playlist too. Something just to make you smile and laugh at. Cat Williams as always. Cat Williams pops in, I'm telling you. I'm just sharing it. Maybe if somebody likes Cat Williams, you might like to listen to him. You may find him funny. Just to get your mind, to, to, to get your mind disconnected a little bit and smile on your face alter the orbit a little. Okay. And I don't give us. I like that one. Run to love yourself. Or, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, maybe some audio, but you know, don't be making yourself stay awake all night. I hope anyone understands what I just put there. All right. So maybe some something to make you smile because that's how it's supposed to be. And then alter that energy around you, the orbit, orbit, orbit. Damn, three hours. Three whole hours, my God. All right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I love you and you are amazing. Guides and guidances, please be aware. Um, it's a weird thing to say, but hopefully understand. I really did specifically ask to do what was left of the work before this is done. So there's a high probability this meeting of ours consistently is not an accident. I love you guys, and um, remember, you are well. See you guys tomorrow.